This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection, and service. Hey guys, Ibra here with Hardware Connects, and you may have come across EK Waterblocks, a company well known for water cooling parts and accessories. They've mainly focused on providing appropriate hardware for custom loops, but are now expanding into an all-in-one solution with the Predator 240. If you're looking into water cooling your gaming PC, EK has you covered. The company has taken a custom water loop consisting of a massive radiator and a high performance water block and then sealed the entire thing up. Priced at $200, we would consider this a pretty hefty investment for a CPU cooler and it is certainly one of the most expensive options. But given their solid reputation within water cooling, let's find out if EK is able to impress. The first thing to establish here is that this thing is massive. Measuring at 11.6 inches long, 5.5 inches wide, and a whopping 68 millimeters thick. EK is using their own custom ACHE compression fittings for the Predator 240, and this allows the tubing to swivel easily, which will then make installation easier. The AIO tubing is made out of synthetic rubber that is of quality, plus, typically the outer diameter runs from 9.5 millimeters to 14.3 millimeters on a standard AIO cooling solution. This bad boy starts at 16 millimeters in outer dimensions to 10 millimeters for the inner, and this allows an increase in fluid capacity and pressure reduction. Pretty cool. At the end of the tubing, EK has managed to implement their Supremacy MX water block, which is one of the best you can find on the market. It comes with four pre-installed spring-loaded retention bolts that simply slide in and out to fit different size CPU mounting sockets. This makes installation a lot easier, except with a few caveats, which I'll get to in a moment. There is a brass water chamber attached to the bottom of the radiator, which holds a significant amount of the fluid more than a typical AIO. The result should keep CPU temperatures lower as there is more fluid to carry the heat. Next to the reservoir is where you'll find the DDC 3.1 pump, which indeed is an overkill for a single rat setup. The last piece to the equation are the two included EK Vardar branded fans, which are capable of running up to 2200 RPMs. Instead of relying on software, they've included a 4-pin header fan controller. This combination not only exceeds expectations, but makes USB-based solutions look downright cheap in comparison. Now moving on to the installation, the Predator 240 only supports Intel-based sockets, and unfortunately there isn't an AMD solution. Do note that out of the box is configured to support these sockets, uh, as you will have to purchase the 2011 screw adapter set separately, but for $200, they should have just included it. I tried installing the unit inside my Fantex Lux case, but I ended up having clearance issues while mounting the radiator on top as well as the front of the chassis. Given the thicker and longer than usual body of the radiator, you would need minimum 70 millimeters of high clearance. Most likely low profile RAM and a short VRM heatsink on the motherboard for the Predator to fit. We hope this actually might change the way cases are designed as there are only a handful of enclosures that can accommodate proper clearance for this AIO. So how well does it perform? As expected, it was simply not equal to any other AIO on the market. The thick radiator does demand high static pressures to keep it cool. The stock fans can only do this at higher speeds, which results in a much higher noise levels. We also tried a quad fan configuration, and albeit it turns the thickness from 68 millimeters to 93 millimeters, but the results are even more impressive, lowering the temperatures by five degrees. In conclusion, the Predator 240 is by far the most expensive AIO solution available on the market today. And for the price, you do get a well-performing water block, best-in-class tubing solution, high-quality fittings, a built-in four-pin header fan controller, but most of all, the performance has surprised us in every way. The only downside is of course the size of the unit, as even my full tower, the Fantex Lux, that is considered to have excellent water cooling support, doesn't have enough top clearance for the Predator 240. But for those who want that custom water cooling loop temperatures in an AIO form factor, this does not disappoint and we're giving it the Hardware Canucks damn good and damn innovative award. So what do you guys think about EK's new Predator 240? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more similar content and we'll see you in the next one.